Hey guys, today I wanted to show you how to use Rogue Killer, which is another tool that you can use to help remove viruses and malware and stuff off of your computer. When you launch Rogue Killer, it'll typically come up and ask you to accept their user license agreement, but since it's already been opened on this computer, it just starts into the process of doing what they call their pre-scan. And what the pre-scan does is it goes through and checks all the processes to see if there are any that it needs to stop. So if it does need to stop them, then it will show in red here under this processes section, and it will show up in red the processes that it does stop. So this usually takes a few minutes to run the pre-scan, and then once that's done, we'll show you the next step to take. So now that the pre-scan is finished, you can see that it killed the Dropbox process. You can expand the different sections to see more information about it, it's saying the reason that it stopped it was that it was a process injection. So Dropbox is not something that I want to remove. It is something that I use. It could be that Dropbox has been corrupted. Um, so we'll go ahead and scan some more to see what happens. But the pre-scan, like I said, just kills processes that it thinks are potential malware. And then you need to start the actual scan. So to do that, you click the scan button here in the top right corner. So again, this is another scan. It takes another few minutes to run, and it goes through these different categories here at the top. So as soon as it's finished, we'll go through those and kind of explain those as well. So now that the scan is all done, we need to look at the different tabs and select the things that we want it to delete. So we just go through the different tabs and look at what it is that it found. So these are some potentially unwanted search pages. So if we scroll over here, we can look at more of the data and the value and the key um, in the registry. So here we can see that they're Bing searches. So these aren't necessarily something we want, but they're not necessarily something bad. So we'll go ahead and check these. These are the tasks or the scheduled tasks. Sometimes programs, when they're installed, they'll inject tasks to automatically run on the computer. Didn't find anything bad there. The host file. Um, shows you lines in the host, um, shows you if there's anything that it thinks is suspicious, and then it also puts in ones um, that are normal, and it highlights the suspicious ones in red and the normal ones in green. Then we have the anti-rootkit. So here it just shows you the different things that it found under the different IA IAT tags. Um, again, it highlights the ones that it thinks are suspicious, and it allows you to remove those. And then you have the files and folders. Again, it'll show you the things that it thinks you should remove and have check marks there, and the master boot record, and then web browsers. So really the only thing that it found on my computer was these search files in the registry that we'll go ahead and remove. To do that, you just click the delete key here and it shows you that they replaced it and then it's all finished. Um, if you do like this software, I would suggest contributing or donating to the developer. It does help them keep the software free and it helps them keep this a good program for us to use. If you have additional questions though on how to use this program or how to do anything on your computer, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.